Welcome everybody, Jameson C. Montgomery here with you. Uh, welcome to another edition of the Creator's Corner. Uh, we almost should retitle this to the Eustachian Tube Dysfunction Corner because there have been lots and lots of information um, and I've been getting a lot of emails and requests on different things about this condition. So, you know, I'm going to keep going with it. I, uh, every other day or so I get an email, a message, um, and I'll be leaving my email address. Matter of fact, I'll put it right there. And then uh, you guys can also email me questions on there. I'm pretty quick. I respond pretty fast. So you can always reach me on there. And then you can, um, I'm going to be leaving my Instagram tag right here. And then, of course, uh, all the information, uh, any other way to contact me will be in the description. So let's go ahead and take a moment to subscribe. I'm going to be uh, going along with this here because it's been helping people. I've been getting feedback that uh, people have been getting a lot of help from these videos. So I'm going to keep it going. Why not? Uh, this video, though, is titled, and I'm going to jump right into it right now real quickly for you. It's titled, Quit Coffee. You heard it. Quit it. Stop it right where you are. Uh, probably going to get a lot of thumbs down on the video, but that's fine. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now. Go ahead and just quit it. Um, because it's not going to help you with this eustachian tube dysfunction and I'm going to tell you exactly why it's not going to help you. One of the main reasons is that when you're going through this, if you haven't already experienced it, hopefully you don't, but if you have, you have been under this equilibrium off balance feeling and that's pertaining to the fact that your ear is clogged. And it's not it's not leveled out. Basically, both ears are not in sync. To put it into a um, to a short perspective, and so what's happening is you're getting this uh, de-equilibrium feeling, where you're not really. Sometimes you'll get the vertigo. That's when um, you know things are spinning around for you. But you'll get mostly um, this feeling of just you're like, wait a minute, something's just not right. If you ever um, like don't get enough sleep and then you have this weird off balance feeling well it's kind of like that but you're not sleep you're not sleep deprived you're just feeling off so that's something that's very common and a lot of people don't understand why they're having this and so I wanted to dive deeper into that but I'm going to tell you what made things worse is uh, the world's most known beverage to mankind and I want to tell you that uh, a lot of people didn't suggest that obvious thing, well, I shouldn't say obvious, but people didn't suggest something so prevalent in everybody's life. And so when I stopped, I realized it got better. And so I haven't gotten back on coffee since. And not to pick on coffee, because obviously we've heard and seen minis of articles out there that say these are the benefits, this is what helps you. But just because something has benefits doesn't necessarily mean that with your particular situation it's gonna benefit you if that makes sense because you can get those same benefits in other forms and so uh, I wanted to let you know that if it does have a lot of pros that doesn't mean you have to have just that to get that particular benefit you can get it into another form and uh, when I do my uh, when I release my video course I'm gonna go over all those different things but for now I'm just going to give you um, you know, I want to stay on topic a little, so I don't want to get too far off of uh, what you can get in replacement of coffee. Obviously, we drink coffee because we need the extra boost. Uh, that caffeine is helping us get through our day. Some people don't even need the caffeine. They just like the taste, and that's fine, too. Um, but primarily, I want to tell you is you can Google it right now. Literally, just grab your cell phone out and type uh your station tube dysfunction and coffee and put uh and search it and see what happens and then you can also put uh your station tube dysfunction and anxiety and you'll see so many articles basically saying how your station tube dysfunction and anxiety along with panic attacks has a correlation with each other being this when you have this all balanced feeling if you don't understand what it feels like or have had it before, it's going to start creating thoughts in your head. 
unknown thoughts in the brain, unknown thoughts in the mind, start signaling off other feelings, things you've never had experienced before, and that's what you're going to do. Your body is going to lose control of itself in the sense that you're going to start having those anxiety panic attacks. Body will start doing what it wants without you. So when you realize that you're in this off-balance state of mind or off-balance or disorientation, at first you're not going to understand what it is and where it came from. You know, you know it's going to have something to do with the eustachian tube, but you're not really going to put two and two together right away. Let's, I just want to let you know, I didn't. If you did, that's awesome, but I did not. So um, it was, it came to me at a point where I was just walking around somewhere, and I'm like going through the motions of what I haven't done right. Like, for example, did I drink enough water? Did I sleep enough? Did I... You know, did I get up too fast? What's going on here? So you're going to start going through these mental cycles. And so when you're going through your station tube dysfunction, people have to understand it's not just, and I said this in another video, it's not just um, the issue at hand. It starts affecting the mental aspect of things. So when you start having this off-balance feeling, drinking that coffee and getting that coffee in all the time, um, you're going to start boosting that anxiety feeling in a sense that you're already uneasy about what's going on with you, but drinking coffee, that caffeine boost, is is really not going to help you in this sense because what we want to do, our muscles here, and I explained a lot of this as well, the issue, a lot of the issues that we're finding and that I'm finding out is that when you have this issue, you're tense or you're already tense, you're already feeling uneasy you know you're feeling uh, like your body isn't going to relax and so drinking coffee you don't want to amp yourself up that's not what's going to help you um, because it's going to start triggering other things and the thing about it is I always used to when I used to drink coffee because I did I always always used to tease I used to say I'm going to drink coffee when I have nothing else going on that's out of the ordinary. And obviously with life, we can't always know our days are going to be peaceful. But I would literally drink coffee when everything was lined up for me for that day. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go home, watch the basketball game. So I literally, this is funny now, okay, you you guys will probably laugh at this. I would literally drink a coffee in the morning knowing I didn't have anything unusual happening or something that I was planning to do like a long ride somewhere of a place I've never been to or uh, dealing with a stressful meeting or something that, that would start throwing things out of whack in my mind. I would literally drink coffee only when I knew that it was just typical day, nothing that was going to get me all you know out of control. And that sounds funny for somebody to literally plan when to have something that is consumed daily by millions of people. I would plan it like like I was planning drinks at the club with some friends. It would be weird. So I started to line myself up. I said, you know what? I'm planning to drink a cup of coffee because if I don't plan it right, I'm going to drink it. And then I'm going to have a stressful episode later or a meeting or something and it's going to make me feel worse so I, I kind of thought to myself why do I put myself through all of that to just why do I put myself through all that to just have a cup of coffee maybe I should just stop drinking it altogether and that's what I did and then when I got this eustachian tube dysfunction I was like wait a minute when I drink this stuff it's not it's actually making things worse in here and so I found I I I realized very quickly that when I would drink it it would it would um put me in a non-eased state of mind. So what I'm telling all of you is that I recommend to just quit it. If you're going through your station tube dysfunction and you don't know what's causing it, some of the emails that I received were what were the underlying reasons? Did you ever find out what those underlining reasons were and I responded back and I said a lot of the underlining reasons that I discovered was the fact that I was dealing with a lot of tension um, like I was saying in the jawline the neck the back um, just it can be good tension too but it was not 
the right time to be going through any tension. Uh, some of the some of you had issues with tinnitus, um, ringing in the ears, uh, like uh, weird, odd, popping, crackling sounds. Uh, this is because that that tube is out of whack. And so, what I recommend is that you try to stick to. I, I'm going to put my video as well as of the ten things that I would recommend consuming. Of course, that's just ten. There's you know hundreds of things that you can be doing as well but those are the 10 that helped and so what I recommend is you stay away from the coffee just just please I know it's gonna be hard I know you guys are probably gonna thumb down this video say why is he saying you know I'm ready for it you know because we really don't need to find a caffeinated boost in our life if you really think about it and I know this is opening up a whole lot of discussion here not so positive discussion but we don't really need it like if you really think about it you have the ability to self caffeinate by diet sleep nutrition exercise meditation and that those are things that are acquired over time and those are things that we we sometimes in our life don't have time to to, to develop but you don't really need it and so if you drink it for the taste that's fine but if you're dealing with this issue I, I really want to tell you that I I really highly recommend that you just quit it and stop it just 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 try it just just stop for the duration of the time that you're doing the other things mentioned before I, I mentioned red light therapy uh, there's some sound waves that I, I would recommending you know correlating um, and there's a whole bunch of things that I listed before and I'll and I'll be relisting them as well but overall you are going to give yourself more anxiety by drinking caffeine um, it's just not the right time when you're going through this and so you want to make sure if you tried everything else and you skip over that thing you keep skipping over coffee because it's like everybody says it's good for you and I've been doing it for 20 years and it hasn't bothered me since and it's not that I'm sure it's not that just just quit it and try to do what I've named as well along with things that you do normally but um, just quit it and see what happens for yourself I guarantee when I like I said I stopped haven't went back since and honestly right now the only thing I rec I I can re definitely say that I miss about coffee is just the interaction with people and the smell of it and that's it there's nothing else that I miss about it because I wake up I start I drink I down some water get that natural detox going on and I feel great so I really want you guys to take my advice on this one it's gonna it's not gonna be easy it's gonna be a long road but if you tried everything else and you're still going through this same whirlwind and it's it's literally a whirlwind do that one thing and I guarantee you just doing that I would say maybe seven eight days nine days it's gonna take that long for you to get out of that cranky stage but um, just drink something else something tea drink green tea black tea those aren't gonna be sweet like coffee but just quit it and I would love to see your comments of what you find from that I would love to see what everybody thinks about that but I guarantee you this condition is going to make you feel it's gonna make you feel more anxious when you're driving the motion um, with the the uh, the equilibrium off and it's not the pressure being uh, not equalized you're you're gonna start feeling weird just slight motions gonna bother you uh, getting up a, a certain way is gonna bother you and those things in, in, in unison is gonna start making you feel like overwhelmed so drinking that coffee and get and it's not so much I wanna tell you this it's not so much that caffeine is the problem it's it's the process of how the coffee beans are made and that's a whole nother thing but the, the sprayed pesticide process and the way the beans are preserved before it gets into your cup there's a whole lot of things in there 
that's just not the best for you at this time. So I would recommend, I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what I did. Just quit it, do the red light therapy, listen to your sound waves, and most importantly, take care of yourself. And you know you know what your body needs. You know, you don't always need somebody to tell you what to eat or what to drink or how to drink or when to drink. You know what makes you feel good. So I'm going to leave you all with that. I would love to hear your comments at the bottom. If you guys could all subscribe because I'm going to be bringing these out. Um, sorry I've been posted as often as I like to. Uh, but I will be staying on it if it's useful for everybody and you have more questions. I start to gather the questions up and I start saying, wow, this is video worthy. I need to, there's a lot of questions that I would love to share with everyone else. And of course I do it in a discreet manner. So, all right. This is Jameson C. Montgomery with the Creator's Corner. Uh, another Eustachian Tube Dysfunction help video. Uh, let me know what you think about that. I would love to hear your comments. And uh, also, you can email me as well. I'll leave that in the description. All right, everybody. Take care. Talk to you soon.